Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, hello! So, there is a bit of a, well, first of all, it's just an elephant in the room. I do have a brand new laptop, which I, like I have said in past videos, I did pay half of it, so that my dad could just pay the other half, and here we are for Christmas. The only trouble is, it's a MacBook Pro, not a MacBook Air, so I need an external I got that just to be able to fit SD cards and well technically it's just this hard drive to plug it in. It'll only cost me fifty dollars but it's going to have to wait. I don't quite have fifty on me. So until then I'm I am having to film this off my phone. So I do apologize for the fan. I'll have to just airdrop it down and try to better with airdrop. Clearly, I'm doing a mukbang. And uh what I got for Christmas aside from the laptop. I don't quite know what my grandparents I need to be up on my knees and now to lift this up. I'm still, my hair's still cut off. I'm gonna push this forward so I can reach it as a little bit quicker. That's better. And now it's going just back. So, what I got for my food is obviously uh, chicken. So, I'm sorry for vegetarian and watching this. But, chicken, I think this is pork. Like, literally, it was one shrimp of pork, potato, and the basics of Caesar salad. I do have a smoothie that I just made, which is banana, apple, mango, and kiwi. I do also add ice blocks in it just to obviously make it nice and cold. Sometimes it works. And obviously, water bottle just with some cherries because tis the season. Not shoving food into my mouth, but I will cut out the actual parts from eating because upon watching Hayley Reese's latest video, um, not the one with Louis in it, but the one before it, where she was mukbanging away in front of her background in her filming room between each mouthful it's just like this long awkward silent pause watching her eat so i will take a mouthful but then i will just skip over the eating <laughs> so i will also have to be using imovie which is a default app on the laptop that all the apple devices come with computer wise anyway and then as soon as i get um a adapter for myself I will then be able to go back to using Final Cut Pro and I cannot wait until I do not have to put up with that your disc is almost full of messages popping up in my face. My mum's laptop was just not having it with my editor anymore. Yes, I do have a fork. It's not a frame, but there is a fork here. I mean, that's just mainly for the cellar part. I'm only picking um I'm only picking chickens up with my fingers. Probably the same thing with the potato. I've had a pretty good Christmas so far, except for the part where um, our mother burst us awake because she was ru running around in a mad rush to get the house somewhat organised and a food table done. And with that, she also took just as long to be follow up with tradition where, except for my brother not being here, he lives away from us. He's still alive, he just lives away from us. So other than my brother not being here, we still carry out this tradition by the time we've all gotten up and gotten us all sorted out, etc. We climb into the lounge room, obviously where the Christmas tree is, and someone plays Santa. And gradually we just pass each other gifts from from who to who, and we all open our gifts. I already knew that I was getting a top because A, I paid for half of it. B, when I was using my mum's laptop to edit, the phone messages, uh, synchronized with her laptop messages. So obviously when she and my dad were messaging each other um, his messages came through saying that he was her JB. So that was a bit of a giveaway and see when I went into my bathroom to go and wash my hair I completely forgot that I did actually already have a shampoo in there um, but I had completely forgotten that so I asked mum to borrow her shampoo and she said that's fine. So by the time I got down to the bathroom the you know, tunnel vision just straight to the bathroom by the time I got down there, grabbed a shampoo, at the corner of my eye and my mum's side of the bed was a transparent white uh, bag with apple symbol on it and square shaped, obviously. <laughs> so that's also how I do that. I definitely, was definitely and have definitely gotten um, a laptop. So I do have the MacBook Pro, which is the same as my sister's, just the silver version, which when I first opened it, I thought it was the same as my mum's, but very quickly learned that no, it's not. I'm just going to refresh my clip. When I had first opened um, the laptop packaging or the casing, and then it then occurred to me that my sister has got an adapter that I could use, but it's just a little bit um, dodgy. Like it's playing up, it's getting old or whatever. So when I was trying to 
add it onto my computer just to try and open up Final Cut Pro it wasn't registering onto the computer so that also meant that I wouldn't be able to use my camera so sorry for crappy quality so I might just have to use my phone for a little bit to record videos Hello Sha Hello My sister is in the room so other than the slight mishap with the computer, with the not hard drive, the um, adapter. Yeah, the chair for a reason. Yeah, the chair's too high for the table. <laughs> yeah, I didn't quite take that into consideration. Anyway, once I've gotten some decent amount of food into my stomach, I will show what else I got for Christmas. Oh, see, so yeah, I cream my neck a little bit. Also did a very quick seven minute workout, so that's why I look a bit sweaty. Uh-huh. Did you say a Christmas workout? Oh? Uh, it sounded like you said I just did a Christmas workout. Oh, I said a seven minute workout. How the heck did you get Christmas out of seven minutes? I've only had it. Oh my gosh. Thank so, you. until the. Um, I keep trying to say hard drive, but I do need to get my own because I've been using my sister's. So, until I get myself a adapter for coming out loud, get the technical devices right channel. Until I get myself one of those. So I have to be filling most videos off of my phone because I am obviously beyond grateful and freedom with my own laptop now and obviously my mum is beyond happy that she finally gets her laptop back though she does need to do something about her disk space the weird thing is I was deleting off a lot of what I knew she would not need anymore yet as I would be editing and rendering uh, the disk space was like complaining again I thought oh for crying out loud there was literally nothing else to delete that I, I can't delete because you know, documents wise and reasons are pretty important on my mum's laptop for a reason thank gosh got my own now I've also had to use iMovie though because I can't open Final Cut Pro alright on to actually drinking food and eating food so besides the laptop from daddy -O, I did also get a bunch of hosiery aka underwear and bra so I got I think about a few pairs of flesh toned underwear. I won't show too much because YouTube is a 10 year old and is super sensitive about everything. A black bra. How about a size 16 more or less C, cup C. Got some flesh toned bras, black underwear for the exciting parts. Some PJs because I don't have any PJs and I, I, I need something to see me through summer. I don't remove the size of this one. This is better than the price tag. I'm holding the backwards but it's literally the same on the front. Got these PJ pants. Come about as probably the shin length. Nothing has been more accurate about me since ever. It says permanently tired in case you can't read that. Permanently tired. I am a naturally tired person. But my energy has been pretty good since I have been to fitness. It's a regular blue grey shirt from a pink shorts and a sky blue grey shirt and starry looking pants. It's pretty much the same ones as the blue pants and a black grey bra. And I'm not going to glorify the bra too much because YouTube, 10 year old. Anyway, so I don't quite know what my grandparents have got me for Christmas, but um, I will of course show on screen once I get to editing what each thing will end up looking like. No doubt it'll be a gift card or perfume or even something nice and smelly scented. Even though I have a weak AF scent of smell, like I can hardly smell many things at all, which sucks. All the scents, not the bad ones, but all the scents I am missing out on. Oh, I got egg milk exhausting sitting on my knees. For my 7 minute workout, I just followed a 7 minutes plank challenge video from Pamela Ray, German fitness model and influencer. So I don't think I have much else to say, because it's definitely very boring watching someone eat. And maybe a little uncomfortable and rude. And you know, I am not into ASMR, so for the life of me, you will not hear chewing noises to appease um, that sound orgasmic function that goes off in your brain when you're hearing a certain sound. But I was to have an ASMR preference, it would actually be complete silence. I can now finally do push ups, not like Gwen Johnson level of push ups, but decent level. Arms come about to um, my back height, and of course, I didn't push back up. I'm getting better with push ups. He's back! I'm back! 
like that from Target. No, came out. What's the difference? That's what I got for my sister, just to tie her over until the surprises come. Hey. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, I thought those were the surprises. No, you knucklehead. When did you. When yeah, mum and I, I went guess... Christmas shopping, knucklehead. I was gonna ask. I'm guessing the big surprises are online stuff. Yeah, that's why they haven't arrived yet. They have shipped, but giving what? public. When did you get them? Friday. P Friday just passed. Yes. Great timing. Well, I got paid about a week before Christmas, so I literally couldn't help it. Rose Brand gold. new necklace via her, obviously. I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't entirely say it. it's like so expensive and from Zambles or whatever. Zambles is an Australian. Oh yeah, no, I like it. I do. It's good. Zambles is a Australian expensive jewelry store, one of the many. I also got her a set of earrings, but if they do happen to irritate your ears, feel free to set them aside. Well, I, just, I just wanted to be like mum. Things like, are, I don't even know how often I'll wear them, only because like I never either remember or can be bothered to change the sleepers in my ears. Well, anyway. Yeah. So I had a bit of a mum moment where I just had to pair two things up. I was dedicated to purchasing you a laptop, uh, yeah, a laptop case, but didn't have one. Don't you branch out as far as Oh, then I'll just do my own little research and then send it to you in. Next peg, be like, oh. You will love what I got you. That's what I'm saying. I got crucified last time, four times in a row. Yes, and then you called it. <laughs> what did she call it? I called it verbal what abuse. What did she call it? Verbal abuse. It was not even close to where verbal abuse is. Well, she wasn't exactly being polite about it. And then a quick, cute little look. Tanner, the pup. Yes, I mean, obviously she was saying a bit grouchy because it's not really nice. I mean, I wasn't wording it badly at all. <laughs> Anyways, so. Was that one <laughs> Your worst keeps sticking out. It's giving me hair CD. You'll live. So yeah, here we go. So I figured out the um, speaker issue I was having. Oh, jeez. Even though, I don't know what the red light's meant but it wasn't connecting properly so that little gadget thing i'm not gonna use anymore and i don't yeah, think, i don't think we should use it either because it's not working well i'm not i feel a bit air dropping i can't use cords anyway if i wanted to oh, well the only cord i can use obviously is a charger for the laptop but besides that one it will be air dropping anyway so i've now got it the headphones plugged into the mac okay and finally, what is meant to happen, happened. I'm like, there we go, that's a positive sign. And not just like red blinking lights, but actual like white lights. Not palm tainted. Um, and I've successfully got it connecting to my phone, but now... The good thing about it is that it shows you how much charge it has. Hmm. I found it. But I really don't know how long it will take to charge. I'll have to take a look because I put it on maybe Easily five, maybe six. I'm terrible with judging time. I will say easily five minutes ago, I put it on to the charge, for like one percent. So I'll see how far it is along now, and that will sort of give me some sort of estimate as to how long it takes to charge. Mm. In the meantime, I'm going to clean up my bed a little bit. Maybe you know. And uh, yeah. Have you been asked about anything yet? Not just Christmas no. gifts, but. Nothing to do with fitness and health and trip to Switzerland? No. Wow. They must be learning a lesson. <laughs> Eternally. Well, let's see, Nana's talking about how she, for the news, is going to go on to a diet. Hmm. I thought she was already on one. What? I thought she was already on one. Well, apparently the part, like the part she is, healthy. But for a 10 year period she was. Um, Could you please quickly um, reset the recording, please? Yeah. You can hit the volume buttons. Thank you. Um, some next door neighbor's dogs of Greg's was in discussion. Is really just the mischief they get up to? Yeah. Um, I was going to. No, the house. And then he was tucking our faces. And after that, basically. Oh, they're talking about like. I don't know, just. Honestly, construction no. works because in Barbara there's going to be construction work on the uh, car park. A block car park is coming into Lay Future. A block car park? Block car park. Car park. Car park. 
Potato Town you House. You know, like a multi-level parking lot. Ah, okay. Yes. How can I just leave Little Belgrave alone the way it is? Actually, it is a good idea because it was saying that when he's walking through the car park on his way to the station, I'm the back. car park is completely full and then people have to like go to different car parks or whatever. So, it actually okay. is a good idea. I don't need to stay on parking, I'm in town. You get a little extra industrialization in our small little town. It's not be our small little town anymore. Right. Mm. I'm actually hoping sure next year my mentality will change. I mean, obviously, I know I have to put a lot of myself there. I can't just expect it to like go boom. Usually, but I will actually usually be mentally ready to be mentally ready. <laughs> usually, a shift in living locations helps to shift the mindset because it's stuck in the same because place. Because I think so there's a lot of old energy here mm. that is just like hitting me and it's dragging me down. But in like a brand new place, in a brand new area with a brand new, completely clean energy. I mean, obviously we're going to save the fuck out of it. Because, um, I ain't having no dark energies in my future whole thing. Yep! See how much saging will go underway. And then once we do we sit on to a new home, by bank phone or what have you, well, we yeah, are it making... Is gonna, it, is, it is going to be by bank phone. We are making an extra special effort. So etc etc etc. Your house might have much bigger space, so therefore we're gonna <coughs> excuse me, move around a whole lot better. I'm gonna go check on the child now. You sound like a checking on a baby. What? You sound like a checking on a baby. Well, in effect. Okay. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, the, the whole conversation with the left sister is done, and I've shown you for the most part what I got for Christmas from immediate family. I'm going to finish this on my own or can start on editing and then I'll just add pictures of what the grandparents got me etc. I did get my grandmother, well my mum paid for it but I did get my grandmother it's really nice white, a little bit of pink floral patterns to it um, but a very nice flimsy, very light breezy white shirt. Obviously women's wear. It's kind of like a maternity um, dress but in a shirt form and not for maternity but it looks like that because of the pattern and the stylized shape etc. That's what I got from my grandmother specifically even though my mum paid for it so it's from both of us. You saw I did get my sister a rose gold necklace and matching earrings like a row full of matching earrings and my Kmart. For my mum I well I paid for it right in front of her and then she paid for her own thing as part of leisure but so I did get her a Estee Lauder Night face cream. It only cost about hundred dollars, which I was fine to pay for. It's literally the most expensive thing I had purchased for my mother. So I got her a face cream, and I do have one other thing arriving for her, which will surprise her. The colors will surprise her. Something that my sister will die over. Not literally die over, because I don't want to be arrested and thrown into jail just because a present was too much for my to handle. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, so. Those were my Christmas gifts, computer, um, laundry, I guess you could say, and of course PJs. And this dress is not a PJ, uh, obviously it's not a PJ, but this dress is, I just bought it. I wanted to have something a little bit more picnic wear, but my life ran really short. And there was this other dress I could have worn, but uh, it was too small, size 12, I'm not a size 12. So I have shrunk it down a little bit, so my family has noticed. Okay, and now chatting. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I will have to film other videos using my phone until I can get an adapter. Thank you all for watching this one, and I shall see you for my future videos. Bye bye. Yeah.